The two main concerns with cancer treatment uh, is chemo, certain chemotherapy agents, particularly the class we call alkylating agents, can kill off eggs and sperm in men. And uh, other treatment like radiation treatment to the pelvis can affect uh, ovarian function or, or the uh, ability for the uterus to carry a pregnancy. On the other side, I've reassured them that many therapies are not very toxic. And uh, I think very important is for cancer survivors to know is that pregnancy after cancer is not associated with a higher risk of uh, abnormalities in the children. So I think that was a very reassuring message for them. The main um, thing women have to realize, and this is whether they're cancer survivors or otherwise, is that there really is a biologic clock. And fertility decreases with increasing age, and that happens naturally. I think it's really important that all women think about um, family planning as planning their family and not just leaving it up to chance. I gave a list of websites that I think would be very helpful. One particular is called Fertile Future, which is a Canadian organization, nonprofit organization, whose mission is to uh, educate and uh, provide support for young people facing cancer uh, with respect to future fertility. For women, at least, they would want to see uh, a doctor that falls into the category of infertility specialist and specifically REI, or Reproductive Endocrinologist and Infertility. And there are many, many good centers for that. I mean, life does go on after cancer, and fertility is an important aspect of that.